okay so starting with the next guideline of screen designing okay uh, the next guideline is the navigation and pro the first guideline what we have seen in the previous video was uh, a test for a good design so where we have uh, made a different kind of test in order to check the design of our this screen okay so now we have next uh, guideline that is navigation and flow okay so first of all we have to provide an ordering of screen information and elements that is rhythmic which are relevant to each other guiding a person's eye through the display okay so the user will look at the element the user will look at the information and will uh, these information will guide the user's eye from top to bottom okay then second is encourages natural movement sequence okay so naturally uh, user's eye will go from the most important information to the less important information so natural movement sequence should be maintained in navigation then minimizes pointer and eye movement distances so this is also very important then next is locate the most important and most frequently used element or controls at the top left as we have already discussed regarding this point ke we have to keep the most uh, frequently information or elements at the top left so that when person look at the screen so it will tend to look uh, at that quadrant only the first quadrant that is uh, top left quadrant which is the very uh, a crucial uh, quadrant and we have to keep all important information in the quadrant only then the last one maintain a top to bottom left to right flow okay this flow is very important because uh, whenever we are adding elements or information so we have to give the priority from top to left sorry top to bottom and left to right flow next is align assist in navigation through a screen by aligning elements grouping elements using line borders so we have to provide assistant to the user for navigating through a screen the uh, it means that going from one location to another location going from one screen to another screen or going from one location of the screen to another location of the same screen by aligning the elements we can align the elements properly we can group the relevant elements or information together then we can use the line border in order to assist the user then next uh, using focus and emphasis sequentially direct attention to items that are critical important secondary or peripheral according to the importance of uh, the element or information we can uh, uh, we can um, give the attention we can give the direct attention to the items okay items or elements or information whatever we are adding on the screen we are designing okay so whichever element or whichever important uh, so whichever uh, information is important that is uh, if the information is critical then we can put it on the top okay if the information is important then we can keep in the bold letters okay or in the marquee section we can keep it if the information is less important or secondary or peripheral then we can keep it in the last quadrant then uh, tap through windows in logical order of displayed information we can tap uh, through windows in logical order okay so one by one the screen will come okay so whichever uh, Uh, a screen will come after one after another we have to arrange it accordingly then uh, navigation through a screen or page should be obvious and easy to accomplish so navigating if you are navigating from one screen to another screen then it should be in the proper order <coughs> and this point we have already discussed regarding grouping aligning and uh, using the border lines for assisting the user then sequentially direct uh, direct a person's attention to elements in terms of their importance 
that we have learned right now then last is using the various display technique focus attention on the most important part of the screen so the moral of the story is that when you are navigating when the user is navigating from one uh, place to another place on the same screen then we must provide assistance to the user that uh, using his eye using his or her eyes okay so when it looks uh, at the element or information then automatically it should proceed to the next uh, point or next statement or the next uh, section of the uh, screen